one starter point, um, which is that we have had uh, some moments of uh, considerable excitement uh, together. Um, and um, if I may encapsulate uh, both points, the end of the day yesterday and uh, the spat over the word explosion. Um, the core point, um, if I may adopt a manager's uh, hat moment, is whether the DDDWG has invited the commissions of the IUCR to do something that's impossible, by which I mean unmanageable. Wonderfully, uh, Brian used the word the possibility of convergence, uh, clearly uh, is still there. Um, and I still believe that. I think that what we've asked the commissions to do uh, to define their metadata, um, deal with diversities, all of these things, I still believe is a, a reasonable request. Now, the Commission on Biological Macromolecules chairman himself is here, and I've logged the fact that, um, uh, I, or by warning, that I would invite him to comment. But I think there is a weakness in my position on one aspect. And I think that when we look at the neutron facilities, back to 1973, for example, with the ILL, these predated as central facilities the synchrotron facilities. Therefore, they are the cause celebre of whether it's realistic for the raw data back in 1973, which the ILL itself has said, we can't guarantee that the software is there to analyze it, whether it's realistic that we could assume it might be possible. So I, I, I agree that there is a, a weakness in my managerial position where I'm not certain in my mind that, the, let's say, the 1973 ILL data, for example, will be processable because the expertise may well have retired, the knowledge of what is the metadata that surrounded the measurement of those uh, data sets uh, may not be available. So anyway, uh, throw that open as, a, as a, a point as chairman where I do feel that we are in a, a bit of a wobbly position to think that we could hope that all raw data uh, can be defined metadata-wise, software-wise. Um, I mean, I've highlighted, Matthew, I've put you on the spot there. Um, I mean, would you like to comment on that or, or just say, how true, John? Um, I don't know what what the files are like, or I know there are files in those directories. I have to go and see what if it's, if it's if it's possible to do anything with those files and what is actually contained. Um, I can't really say any more than that. At the moment. Just know that they're there. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so let's give Tom uh, the chance. I mean, we do have agreement that uh, within MX there is diversity. Uh, whatever I might quibble about the word explosion. Um, so Herbert, James and myself do agree that there's a strong diversity uh, going on with the facilities generating the MX data, for example. Would you like to comment? I, I agree with everything you said, John. <laughs> well, maybe not everything, but most. Um, actually, just from the point of view of the Commission on Biological Macromolecules, um, I'd point out that, um, yeah, we strongly support the idea of, of identifying what the metadata ought to be and so forth. Uh, I would say I'm not sure that our commission is the right people uh, to do that, however. You can subcontract the task. Yeah, we might be able to subcontract the task. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh, but I, I think that we're totally in support. Um, we're totally on board with everything we're doing. Who's next? Ah, Mike Prober, Newcastle. I think you need to make a, a clear distinction though. Um, you, you just spoke about the possibility that data from 1973 might not be complete and usable still. There is actually nothing we can do to change that position now. The only thing that we do have the capability to do is change the possibility to future-proof our current data. And I think that's very much what we're about to try and ensure with respect to raw data and not only processed and derived data for which the very splendid efforts of the databases are, are going on already. But the raw data is something different. Mm, coming to the glance, Florence. Um, just a quick comment on the metadata definitions for the, from the High Pressure Commission. 
we are, I guess, pretty close for the metadata definition for the diamond anvil cell, that the different techniques and the different uh, pressure cells are still waiting. So probably it will be a stepwise process, right? So uh, we have to wait, maybe it will not come in just in one uh, paper or just in uh, one, 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 one time. And um, about the data from the history, not the raw data, but um, I, uh, like, something like five years ago, I wrote a paper uh, based, in, based on the structural factors uh, which were actually deposited with paper um, written in ACTA in early 1980s. There, was a, there were structural factors deposited as copies from the micro, microfilm uh, from line printer which were almost illegible and I asked for, for the um, hard copies for the British Library and they provided me hard copies I paid something like um, 40 pounds for, for the hard, hard copies but actually there were them and there were some pages missing so even the Structural factors deposited with the uh, um, papers in ACTA are incomplete, not telling about the raw data. So I had a summer student uh, with me over the summer uh, transferring the rest of that um, microfilmed, poor quality data onto the web, so you can all enjoy that. I just wanted to respond to Camille uh, in my capacity as chair of ComCIFS. I believe that the work that has been done is sufficient that we should now to make it a, a COMSIFS project to, to get that dictionary done. And if you like, that's an immediate outcome of this workshop, is that this, this work has now been done and we can go to the next stage of actually producing a dictionary. And certainly it will be stepwise and uh, it's intended to be an evolutionary thing anyway. So uh, we, should, we should come up with a, a plan to work together. <laughs> I must say I'm in awe of these chaps like yourself who have got this command of these ontologies and semantic whatevers. Um, and um, uh, we, 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 you know, it's great that you've come all the way from Australia and, and please you know, lead us forward in the whole uh, thing of you know, the proper uh, uh, future use and uh, future proofing of using the raw data. What are your plans for us? <laughs> Yes, well, I, I don't think there's much point in me making plans because so much depends on what everyone else does. So in this particular case, uh, if the High Pressure Commission don't do anything, then nothing happens. I mean, all we can do is provide a, um, an accessible way to develop metadata, and that's what I'm, what I'm personally trying to work on, is to, to make it easy for people to produce these dictionaries because it, it seems to me that people are still... They find it quite... What Brian showed, some of the text from the dictionaries, it seems... It's, that's, people still find that quite inaccessible. And one of the thrusts of my talk was that really you don't need to know all of that stuff. You just need to provide those four things. And the rest, uh, the rest can be done by someone who's happy with the dictionary. Our keynote speaker who opened the whole thing surely deserves 140 characters at least of, of uh, her view of the matter. Okay, about, um, about metadata and um, if in, in future, especially regarding uh, all the data sets maybe from ILL, um, I don't think we really need um, to preserve the software to pr that, that was used to process those data. All that we really need is a clear description of the formats that are being used. So if you want to go back to old data, that is the thing we should do, try to define what the format is in the in future. There's always possibility to analyze those data. So we should get things very clear. Also, with respect to the metadata, I was thinking, I mean, if, let's say, 20 years ago, someone thought, OK, let's put as a metadata the uh, angle chi of the goniometer, then in future it may happen that no one really knows what that means. So it has to be clear, as clear cut as you can. Uh, we need to describe in very well in depth what we mean by by the, uh, the metadata. So we shouldn't be 
having any confusion in the meaning of the things we put in the metadata, right? So thank you very much. I think uh, we can convene now for the, uh, for the refreshment break. Uh, we'll be back here at uh, 3.25 for a final wrap-up session. Uh, just before we, uh, we sign off, um, the world at large has been watching us over the last couple of days. I'm deeply indebted to our technical staff who have made the webcast possible. Um, uh, I don't know how many people have got out of bed early on a Sunday morning to tune in, but the, uh, the presentations of the last couple of days will also be made available on our website um, in, the next, in the next couple of weeks when they've all been edited and spliced together. So when uh, Rovine is but a hazy and happy memory to you, if you want to revisit any of the discussions and presentations over the last couple of days, uh, that will be available to you. Thank you very much. And to thank uh, Herbert Bernstein and John Westbrook, um, because obviously they're about to be turned off from the web stream. Uh, so, you know, uh, really um, appreciate their contribution remotely as well. Yeah. Okay.